All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to A House from Trees. Thank you for tuning in. Well, jumping right into it, uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Matt Burke, who came over and spent the day with me uh, moving some of these big timbers. Matt's kind of been the, uh, the guru that I seek advice from the most regarding this um, design, plan, layout. You saw him in previous videos, uh, his drafting uh, abilities with the CAD. Oh, timber framing! <laughs> oversight of the, the whole operation and here what we were working on was uh, connecting this 8x12 um, girt which is going to support the floor and kind of be the ceiling of the first floor connecting that to this post right here and so we're pounding this in tight with a uh, 10 pound sledgehammer he is and what we're trying to figure out is the uh, angle and fitment of the brace right here, the knee brace. And that's out of a piece of live edge oak. And uh, full disclosure, I had completely messed up, um, and I thought catastrophically, but he was able to, once again, talk me down off, uh, off a dismal spot because I thought I'd really messed up um, by, by mis by measuring incorrectly and cutting incorrectly one of the notches in that oak uh, but we we are able to work around it and fix it so planing up and tuning up that uh that that oak brace with the live edge you know billy and i milled it yesterday down at the mill and it it just there's no part of it that's square so we had to kind of just fit and take really precise measurements and then plane up and work from a specific edge and uh so this is uh this is just tuning up the shoulder basically this is matt um as he said this isn't this isn't the first one that he's done uh he and his father used to have a company building timber frame houses when he was younger and uh it's very clear he wields a chisel with ease, and it's pretty fun to watch him work. Really confident, really smooth, and really just understands wood, uh, as he's demonstrating with this oak heartwood right here. Just slicing it away, bringing it down to the shoulder, and bringing it down to the level it needs to be. So this is the knee brace as we kind of just finish the little tune-ups and double checking and measuring and double checking and measuring and pulling it out and he's cutting a little bit off here and there and uh, it's really exciting. This is the first actual assembly of any of the frame, any of the bent work that has happened on the house from trees and this one particularly I think is just gorgeous and uh, God, I gotta give it up to him. He really knows his stuff. And I mean, we couldn't get a piece of paper in between those joints. Um, it, it's awesome. It's really, I think, really, really pretty. Anyway, these are the, uh, he and I hauled out these eight by eights out of the barn and they're ready to be moved down. And I'm gonna work on that next week. So tune in. Um, so here I am setting up uh, this, this uh, peg making operation. So I'm making pegs out of the red oak um, that again Billy and I milled and I got to run through and square uh, pretty much a perfect one inch square um, stock and then I put in this little jig that I made. All this is again uh, something Matt and his dad used to do uh, to manufacture pegs for frames that they were building for folks and I cut that V out of the piece of cedar, two by four, and I just feed this through, feed this through, feed this through, over and over and over. And so that's a six foot piece. And look, if you focus there on the right, you can see it takes me about seven minutes to work through one. Uh, I'm taking the edges off, taking the edges off, the corners, 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 down, 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 to where I can get it to fit through that metal plate you just saw. So I cut them all at about 10 inches. And here's one all cut up and ready to be slammed down through this um, this steel plate that Matt just had made uh, for a friend of his just machined this. And what this does is takes off the really sharp edges and it makes sure it, it can fit into a one inch hole and but leaves it a little bit proud so it's a very tight fit and it really holds the frame and the, the braces and the joints 
holds them together really, really well. And again, it's a this this is a pain. <clears throat> This is a pain processing these, but uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat to be able to make these yourself, and uh, I think this is probably the most efficient way to do it. If any of you viewers know a better way, please let me know. I'd love to hear it, and I don't own a lathe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, only 150 more to go. House from trees. Yeah, and so down here at the job site, basically I just kind of cleaned up a little bit recently and I'm going to start preparing for blocking and setting up the bents and assembling the bents. Uh, doing some brace manufacturing next week and there's the deck and here's the deck from down below, the first floor deck and uh, this is the east facing side. I really like how this looks from down in here and it's going to be pretty exciting um, when it gets covered over and then once the frame sitting on top of that we're only a couple weeks away so stay tuned it's uh, it's about to get more exciting uh, I'm glad you're watching